Okay. Let's switch over to this. The main scene! Now Kanji's looking a little bored. It's okay, Pooch. You could be bored. Got my apron on today. Because I'm going to be goofing with flour. And I want my shirt to have all that flour. So, Kanji. You ready to chill? You ready to chill? I need to start. Kind of, kind of was a mad rush today to try and do this. So my work schedule has adjusted a little bit, so my Fridays are open, which gives me more time for testing, which is good because I need to be, I need more time testing. As you can see, I've been a little behind on my like recipes on the site, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that soon. I'm hoping. Had a few big trips and stuff come in. But today, I am going to be testing some pita breads. Because I've been reading in multiple places that it's worth making pita breads. And I've been disappointed <laughs> in the pita breads I could find at HEB or any store. So if it's as easy as some people say, I figured why not try and make it. I want to do two kinds with slightly different flour ratios. I have to think about this, how I want to do it. Because I also need to be drying, so I need this. Oh no, your phone battery! Okay, does the sound okay, Jeff, since you che you're checking? <laughs> what a good husband! Checking while he's at work and I'm not at work. You are a hero. Oh, I should have. Oh, Jeff, since you're watching, kind of. Look at. <laughs> Look at these giant thermos I bought. <laughs> They're so big. Because you forgot your water today. And I figured you could leave one at work. They're huge. They're twice the size. And they could hold heat, supposedly. So who knows? trying to think of how to do this because I have a bunch of spices I want to test and I have to dry out my the lemon zest the orange zest and all that other zest stuff that I'm going to be working with up slightly see this <laughs> you're so wonderful I love you Jeffrey um it's probably a slightly quieter song There it is slightly, very, very slightly up. Do I start one dough? Do I start zesting? Do I start, hmm. I didn't think timing wisely. Just cause I do have like a hard stop. Thank you, bye. It's the sweet boy and me. Hi, Harry. How are you? Let's see. Think. <laughs> twerking. Good day at twerk. Maybe I'll start one of the doughs. Because they need a rest for two hours. I'm trying to see. It's 12.45. I need to stop at 4... 30-ish. So, yeah, let's do one of the doughs. I'm going to do the one. So, the big difference I'm going to do with the dough is one is going to have more all-purpose flour. So, it's going to be two cups of all-purpose flour to three-fourths cup of um, whole wheat. And then I'm going to do another one, hopefully, if time allows, um, that is a cup and a half of whole wheat. Let me mask this. And a cup and a Am I mathing this right? I wanted to double that. So three fourths. Let me write this down before I go crazy. One and a half. Now I want to do one and a half. So I'm adding three fourths. So I'm doubling that. So I have to 
Yeah, so, and then one... If I did equal parts... You know what? That's going to be less... Two. Actually, there would be more... Yeah, let's try that. Well, we're in a fourth. Less flour and more whole wheat flour. Whole wheat. So yeah. I'm hoping what can happen is I could put this back here and you'll be able to see this one rising because it's a see-through. <laughs> That's the hope! That's the dream! So the first thing I need to do, I don't have instant yeast. I usually have just active dry yeast. I don't know why. I don't have a good reason why. It's just what I've always purchased. I recently learned about cake. This is like on the wrong side of me. Cake yeast? And I was like, what the hell? So I don't know if I could find that anywhere here easily. But I want to, because I've been watching the Bon Appetit uh, pizza making thing. And it's been kind of interesting to see how they're doing it. Three fourths. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cool. So into here, I'm going to put two and a fourth teaspoon, which is the equivalent of what typically goes into a like one of them packets that you could buy. I use a decent amount of yeast and it's a bit cheaper to do this and it holds well in the fridge. It's small, small enough that it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Use it within like six months of opening is what it says. And I typically, typically can because I make pizza like once, once a month. Making pizza this weekend. I could make the dough, <laughs> but I don't want to over, over promise too much. That's why I was like pitas, pitas in a lot of spices, pitas in a lot of spices. I need to also put the salt and sugar in here, sugar, just some kosher salt, one teaspoon of that. That's true. Can I read my instructions? No. Water, olive oil, and yeast. I can't read my own instructions. That's because the word... It's because it's missing. Alright. Let's see if that does anything funky. Add some sugar... I think there's like brown sugar chunks in here from the last time. Oops. Make sure to get rid of any of them if I see any. Tablespoon of sugar. And then I need my olive oil. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Now it is also very possible that even just like this base might not work. But we'll see. This is what happens when I'm like, hey, Opie. This is what happens when I'm like, oh, let's see what happens. And I quickly kind of come up with something. Eh, it worked last time with the cookies. But pita breads, I've never done at all. So this is a completely, completely new thing to me. So I want to have warm water. And it's important. How much do I want? One cup. It's really important that your water isn't boiling hot because yeast has like this perfect, there's a perfect number for it where it's between 100 degrees and 110. I've 115 you could maybe get away with, but sometimes uh, it's a little warmer than it should be. So you want to be careful with that. Kanji's being a good boy today, behaving himself. I was worried since uh, Jeff's not here that he would be like, oh, why, why do I want to sit here? Why do you want me here? 
water's taking its time getting warm. Usually does a better job. Oh my gosh. Water, please. Please. I will just check it real quick to make sure it's not over because if it's over, it's going to kill your yeast, actually. It is just a little under. So, water. Whoop. There we go. 109. Thank you, water. Thanks for being so nice. I'm going to put this in here. And then I'm going to just kind of let that be. Well, actually, I should give it a little whisky whisk. Mix all that up real quick. And then I will set it aside. For about 10 minutes or so to kind of let that yeast bloom. Okay. And while it's doing that, well, it has a resting point. I'm going to mix my flour and stuff together. Which is where... So I'm going to do two cups all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of whole wheat flour and then I want to try adding garlic powder in there because I like garlicky flavored things that's just me I mean I could garlic is a joy makes me happy no wait I don't want to open that yet <laughs> I still have some in here so got my all-purpose flour Trying to find things today, and I'm like, I don't know where I put it. Where is that? Things have gone missing. Found it. <laughs> I was so because this is like the first Friday. I I switched things up a little bit. I woke up, and Jeff had to go on site, and I needed the car because I needed to go food shopping. Because after the Overwatch League games last week, because we went up to Dallas, and then we drove back to Houston uh, Sunday night, got back at like 1 a.m., uh, I didn't go food shopping last week. I figured, oh, you know, let me test how Friday food shopping is. Not terrible, but also I think the HEB was still kind of like stocking their stuff, so not everything. <laughs> found everything I needed, but I could see things were still kind of getting settled in. And I was like, okay, so clearly going in at, I go, 8.30? Because Jeff and I stood up watching the, the Outlaws game last night. Rough. And, and we're like, oh, there was no, we forgot to put the alarm on. And I was like, uh-oh, it's 6.45. We goofed. So I had to drop him off, and then I also, I went to Costco, since Jeff's not here, we're not going to tell him. Got a Costco hot dog, I was happy. Stuff is delicious. $1.50, man, can't complain. Um, but I went there, because I needed a lot of lemons this weekend, because I'm making, oh, I might also do a lemonade, that's right. Forgot about that. A mint lemonade, I wanted something nice and light and refreshing. It's for the start of summer. But yeah, by the time I was done running around and doing all that, I was like, oh, it's like 11.45. Whoops. I want to make sure I at least get some of this stuff going. So the protein content in there is 14. What's this? 11. So this is a much higher protein. So 
Good, 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 good. Means more gluten. One hundred percent whole grain. Hooray. Three fourths cup. I am just excited that yeah, that cask is right there now. And I can get what I need. Like tuna for super cheap. <gasps> Renee, you're working. Everyone's working. See you get to you get the joy of watching me while you work. We're all we're all working in different ways. And the garlic powder. I was excited because <laughs> two weeks ago I went up to my employer and I was like I need I've been kind of stressed with just general project stuff and out of work stuff. And I was like, can I is there any way I could like reduce my hours to to four days so I can make sure I'm getting all I need to get done? <laughs> And nobody sat and they agreed to it for for a, a little bit. Not not permanently, we'll see. But I have that at least for now. Ho, ho. Good news, my yeast is very alive. So I don't have to stress about that. Because that would be sad. want to make sure all of that is nice and mixed up. And then at this point, all it is, it's take this and put in there. So while that is, I think. Like, what do I have? I know, I was really happy they did that. Um, and they agreed. I, I obviously said to them if they need me the extra time, I can easily make amends and... and Work the 40 hours if needed, but it's a good company. Can't complain. So I still get to do my fun NASA stuff and, and whatnot. Which... Ooh. Ooh. We're going to be able to, like, lean this correctly. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> no. No. Seriously, afternoon nap. <laughs> when I was setting the kitchen up, I was cause there's a bunch of wires kind of everywhere right now. He uh, kept trying to go under the wires. He usually doesn't do that again. I think it's because he's like, why, why are you just home? What are you doing? Now he's probably like, why are you talking to yourself this whole time? It's okay, Candy. So... Let's see what I wrote. And I'm going to add about a third of this. Let me grab. This. So it's a little easier to kind of put them in. Whee! There we go. So I'm going to have that mix. And then once that's kind of together, I'm going to add more. And then I'm going to do that again the last time and I know the important thing is the end result of the dough is I want it to be tacky which means it's stick it's still sticky but when I touch it and I let go it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't uh, leave residue down because you still moisture in a pita bread is really important because that's kind of what allows the the bread to pop and you to get the pockets. Uh, take that out. I'm gonna with this whisk kind of. I'm gonna make a mess. Is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put half of this mix again. No, now he's just licking away. 
Kanji. What are you doing? Alright. Already it's starting to... It's still a wet dough, but it's coming together. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'm going to scrape the edges down here. This is why we slowly introduce the flour. Mixing the flour. Yeah, cause, yeah, I think that... I also have the lemonade to worry about. I say worry about like it's a thing I have to do. It's just, it just feels so appropriate with it getting so much warmer outside now. But I think it's supposed to... It was originally supposed to storm all weekend. But now Sunday's looking good. <laughs> Which is nice. Okay. So that all kind of mixed together. Now I'm going to stop that and I'm going to add the last of this because it definitely is going to need that. But I'm also going to keep an eye on it if I have to add more. And if I have to add more, I think I'm going to go with the more all-purpose flour. Because I want to keep the whole wheat down somewhat. That all makes sense in my head. We'll see if it if it makes sense after. Uh, I mean, what am I planning? I think my ratio for this. So we're first gonna make uh, a syrup. <laughs> That's gonna keep bouncing if I leave that. Which is sugar and water. Only a half. So it's a half cup of sugar to a half cup to about half cup of lemon juice and two to three cups of water. Not bad. It's so yeah. It's not going to be as sugary as something like the Minute Maid that you buy, which is like probably mostly <laughs> artificial. <laughs> I think one of the most important steps for a lemonade is you want to make sure you heat up that sugar and let it melt. Because if you don't, ooh, that's looking good. If you don't, you're just going to have sugar at the bottom. And it's so sad. Let me look at this consistency. So it's still, it still sticks, but it doesn't like leave too much on. So I think that's the right ratio. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that up. Hopefully it's not like super loud in the ears or anything. I could see it on the mic, but not like it's not louder than my voice is, which is good. So I'm gonna let that need. Five minutes. 104. So at this point, yeah, if I wanted to, I could I could turn it out and do it on the on the countertop. But why when I can make this do it? Now there are risks if you do work with certain things with a stand mixer. You want to be careful because you could overwork work them because you let them go longer, you walk away and you forget. Uh but my shoulder's been bothering me. That's what office work does to you. You're standing at the computer all day, and then what do I do when I come home? I come home and I play video games on the computer. So I, I don't want to work kneading the dough. I'll let, I'll let the machine do the work today. But I will still probably take it out and, and give it a little bit of a, a pat down. I know one, like if you have cake batter in here, if you end up working it too much, you're going to start making, having the flour make gluten strands, which you really don't want in a cake. It makes it tougher. Like a dough. It's going to just do its thing. It's going to relax. This 
So my hope is that this is one better than what I could buy at a grocery store and that it's super easy to make. Um, cause at this point, all I do now is I'm gonna prep my bowl with like olive oil. Well, you know, we'll put some olive oil on and make it all greased up. And then we'll toss the, the dough in here, cover it, put it back there. And it's going to sit and rest for two hours. And then from there, we're going to cut it, make it into the shape. And I don't, I don't own a pizza stone. Because there were two ways I saw that you could cook the, the pitas. One was with a pizza stone in the oven. I don't own a pizza stone. I don't know why I don't own one. Maybe because I'm afraid of like jamming pizzas on top of it. Um, but the other option is with a skillet. And I have the skillet that I've used to make tortillas before. So the temperature could get high enough. Like, the most important thing is that the temperature gets high enough so it like is a quick quick cook. And I've used that for naan before and it worked out. Typically, I don't think about how long it it's like needing for. Like, I'll do the pizza dough and I'll just be like, whatever. And then I'm streaming and I'm like, Man, time's slow. Hey, Kanji. Kanji. You're on camera, sir. You gotta behave yourself. <laughs> what? One more minute. <laughs> Time is slow. How you doing, Squires? I think we're good. I think we... Said a minute. I said a minute. I'm gonna behave myself and wait it out. Longest minute ever. Oh, that should be. How long are you dogs sitting for? We go. We're done. We're done. It's my dough. It's st it still kind of sticks to my hands a little bit. I'll take it out. It's still kind of sticking to things. So there's enough moisture in there. Tacky. Where it's still. If I pull away slowly, it kind of sticks. But it's not leaving much on my hand. Unless it's this side. Where I've put all that force down. Come on. So maybe it does need a little... No. Should be fine. Because this is coming right off. It's just I put all that weight and pressure on it that it, it just came right there. <laughs> Bubble gum. Uh, uh, kanji. Kanji. It's okay. It's okay. Let the people do what they're doing out there. <laughs> Till the end of June. Wow. That's a lot. That's two months. Well, that should be fun. Fun for them, and you get a do you get to chill with a dog for two months. <laughs> it's always fun. All right. So I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. Just kind of rub it against the bowl to make for a nice non-stick surface. Usually I use like this, the canola spray, but I figured why not see if the olive oil, something like making a pile of a mess in front of me. Oh my god, my hands are so... Right, I'm gonna just kind of quickly form it into a ball. Yeah, this is a good consistency. It's not really dry. It's not really sticking to my hands when I work with it. Right, so I'm gonna dunk it down like this so the top gets some oil on it and the sides get... Go 
Hold on. Our dough is very ready to be. So next thing I need to do with it is just put plastic wrap. And I usually like put a towel over it. Kind of give it a little blanket. But we want it to, should be enough room in there to double in size. Right, the dog not having to go to the kennel is good. Like, I know, so Kanji can't, like he can't go to a kennel because he had issues with vaccines and uh, by vet order, can't have any of his vaccines but the, but the rabies one. So, cause he can't have like the Bordetella and all that. He'll get sick if he goes, so that's always an issue. Um, house by the beach, man, and and right at the start of summer, you got the you got a good deal, sir. Okay. All right, that that dough. All right, I, I like the taste of that. That's good. So I'm gonna move this. Actually, let me just fill this up with water so the dough that is in there doesn't like get stuck. So when I have to remove it later, it's an easier, easier clean. And if I do decide to make that second set, which we'll see. We shall see. Now the next boring step. I'm gonna shuffle this over. I'm gonna move this laptop to the side. Actually, I probably should. Let me think. That is true too. Look at all those extra little benefits there. For the the quick move and again, you get to watch a doggo. Okay, <laughs> all of my zest. So I have several kinds that I'm trying to make today. Cause I have a lot of I usually have a lot of like spices just and I'll randomly put them in, but I've been wanting to do some. Pre-made blends. So I know I wanted to do a lemon pepper. And I also wanted to do... What do I have here? No, oh, wrong one. I have a lemon pepper. A... So the spice I usually like buying, and I have it here. But sometimes I don't get to go across town is Tsuchimi to uh, Togarashi, which is seven, a Japanese seven spice. And there's a lot of times, like this like it says, used before January 2019, clearly. There's a brand that HB carries, but it's not the best. And then I was looking at how to make it yourself, and it's not too bad. So again, figured with the blender, having a spice blender now, I could test that out and see how that would work. I'm gonna move this out of the way too. Okay. Now, with all the fresh fruit here that I'm going to be using, this is for that. I need to dry it out if I'm gonna be storing these as as spice mixes. And this is also gonna let me test if they hold well. Cause I'm thinking two, three months. 
in an airtight container. But we'll see. That's why we're experimenting. So I think in theory you're supposed to toss them, but I've never... Are there any spices? Like that spice, it says it's old. Obviously it's been sitting here and we're still using it. The biggest thing is it's going to give less flavor. God dang it. It's going to have less of a punch, so you'll have to use more to get that same, like the equivalent punch of, a, of it. So that's why I typically don't buy spices at uh, Costco. As I say that, and there's like three things here. Um, typically ground one. The only one I do buy ground of is uh, garlic, because I go through garlic powder pretty fast. Um, these crushed red preppers, because I know it says use before August of 2020. This I'll go through because I use it in a lot of like curry things. Yeah, I'm never tossing them. And whole spices hold better. So, and for a longer period of time. I think I bought this only a few months ago, but I go through a, a good chunk of black pepper. And if you want to be using black pepper and you have a, uh, a whole, having a grinder next to your stove all the time, you're always going to be using it. But yeah, you're buying spices. They're, they're pricey. It's, um, there's no arguing that, um. If you can buy them whole, that's the better way to do it. And if you have the ability to to grind them up. Now that I have a grinder, I probably will be buying them whole a lot more regularly. So, those are my recommendations. Yeah, like I said, worst case, you just have to put more spice if they've aged. Let me think. There are three different ones here. I want to do it all on one baking tray. Which I didn't even look. So, 115-ish is when I let that in. So probably at around 3 is when I could look at the dough again. Which I'm actually going to move here. It's not over the... See it in the background. We can see. So, Jeff Bean, coffee picky. They do age quickly. Like, beans do have a shelf life after they've been roasted. No, I'm not going to be the best person to give coffee facts. Um, but I know those do age because they start getting oily. And they have a funk to them. Spices, I mean, I've had... I haven't really seen any get real oily. Vanilla bean, if you have it for too long, it starts drying out. It's usable, but then it's just like the beans aren't as like moist to work with. All right. That's one container. For this one, I'm going to put lime zest. Orange zest, and rosemary. So those flavors in my head made sense. Well, and I said, that sounds delicious. Who are you? This is going to be a salt thing. Now, with a lot of these spices, I would imagine that I'm going to be testing. If I just mix all that together and not put salt, that's probably one good way to do it because then you could control how much salt you go in there. I kind of know what the general salt level of the, the food I want. So I will be incorporating them as is. One, two, three. Now, the nice thing with rosemary, it's real easy. If you just take the leaves and kind of pull back the opposite direction, you just kind of come off. And I could have used like already dried 
rosemary, but I figured if I'm going to be drying the zest, I could dry out the rosemary too. And just put it in the in the grinder. Oop. And then I get to smell fresh rosemary. Anything the fridge is uh, the fridge. The the kitchen's gonna smell real nice with like a bunch of spices. Huh? Oh, boom. Give me one second. There we go. Mind focus. Me. Should have just put it in the kanji focus. Kanji's super paying attention. Alright. So I have all of my rosemary there. Next. I said the zest of two oranges to four limes. Obviously there's a big size difference here. I want that much? Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Also said. Oh no! My one tablespoon. Which is weird that I have like two of a lot of other sizes, but tablespoon. Actually. I have one of, and I've used it already. Do I have my half tablespoon? <laughs> it's somewhere here. Here it is. Rosemary. I want some pepper corns in here. I'm also going to put those in there to kind of toast these up a little bit. So one tablespoon of this. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and then I'm gonna zest away. So when zesting, it's important that you don't go too far in because you don't want the white. That part's usually very bitter. Also, when you zest, you might go, oh, I don't need the juice, the juice of it. It can hold in the fridge fine for say about a week. And I know I have use for the Probably all of these things. Well, the lemons for sure because they are going to be <laughs> used in the lemonade that we make. I figured since I have so many spices that I wanted to try drying out, I could do them all in a big batch. And I learned today that the lowest temperature my oven could go to is 170. So we'll see how. We'll have to keep an eye on that as. Boop, as it cooks up. Got a lot of zesting to do in my future. Which is zester is a nice thing. It, you could get one pretty cheap. It's something I do recommend. Adding zest to... Like if something has lemon juice in it, if you add a little zest, it's going to add extra flavor for sure. The zest is a stronger flavor part. Actually, while I, while I was at Costco today, I was looking at their lemon pepper uh, mixture. And I noticed it had citric acid in it. And I was like, oh, I wonder. I have some in... I think I still have some. But when I was working on the... I could probably 
get a lot more when I'm obsessed off of this. When I was working on the Fallout uh, cookbook, there were the gumdrops that I had to make. And I made the first batch, and I was like, this isn't sour enough. I want this to be a lot more sour. That's when citric acid became my friend. Because it adds such a punch of, of sour to things. Because I could only add so much um, zest or juice, and it wasn't like... Or it wouldn't hold up, or the glue, uh, the gelatin would start falling apart if I put too much. So I had to, I had to find an extra component to kind of make a big difference, and it ended up being that citric acid. Yes, Jeff and I are going to be eating a bunch of oranges this week. Make orange juice. I don't think four oranges are going to make that much orange juice. It's giving me a good chunk. Yeah, I definitely I do want to do two. In terms of this, like, the ratio that I'm getting. Part I wasn't sure about was how to test all of these and to decide if I was happy with them. But I do have some recipes that I was gonna do this weekend that I'll be able to see if these actually work. Yep. This one still has its sticker on. <laughs> actually, I was back at Costco with the, uh, this one that, I was buying this spice section. There were people like looking at the. Oh, this one's wetter than I expected. They were looking at the vanilla extract, and the vanilla beans. They're like, "What's what's the difference between can candied oranges?" Oh no, um, candied orange peels are very good. They were like, they were kind of talking. They're like, "I thought there was vanilla extract wasn't the real one, isn't it? The pure vanilla is the real." Heard that. I usually don't go up to people and say, well, actually, but I had to today. It's like, no, 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 no. It's, if you find vanilla flavoring, that's the fake stuff. But the vanilla extract is actually vanilla. <laughs> Please. There's a reason it's as expensive as it is. Orange. Orange. Well, we're drying it out, so... This one's fine. This one's fine. Hmm. I guess I just had a, a dud. Where it's a little... It's softer. This was the other... At H-E-B. These were... There was, like, half a container of oranges instead of, like, the the full three things of it, and I was like, well, I don't have a lot of options here. <laughs> I clearly chose incorrectly. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Now I'm getting less orange out of this. Because it's being, well, it's just all sticking. So they were surprised because they were then looking at the vanilla beans. These these two women, and it's like, they're like, three dollars per bean. That sounds expensive. And I was like, well, no, that's actually pretty standard <laughs> nowadays. And uh, I've been looking at the price of vanilla beans for a while. Because I buy vanilla beans and I really like using them. I think it was four or five years ago when I bought from the place I usually buy my spices. For a Mexican vanilla bean, it was a dollar fifty, Like a dollar per bean. Now they're just $3 a bean. I'm like, oh no, what happened? 
I think that one's good. So I think this kind of spice mix would go well with lamb. Would complement lamb extremely well. So it's the orange, the lime zest, the peppercorns, and the rosemary. Um, I think that ratio is correct. All right, so now I'm going to prep. This one's another small one. Deal with the orange again. For the shichimi. Togarashi. Seven spice. Now this, this spice is very common in a lot of, uh, if you go to Japanese restaurants, they'll, they'll have them there. You can find this pre-made in, at a, a Japanese market. There are sometimes like off ones at your local grocery store, like in the international section. But I wasn't happy with that one, which is why I'm gonna make my own. But it is usually a spice, a, a nice spicy kick. Um, you'll find it, you could, it works really well like in ramen, in uh, udon dishes, any of that plays very nicely with this. Um, and the seven, the seven spices is typically orange zest, um, black peppercorns, uh, white and black sesame, nori, so you get that seaweed um, flavor, and red pepper flakes, and some garlic powder. You could also add onion or ginger powder in there if you wanted to do also. Um, so yeah, that kind of plays nicely with it. So I've had these, I've had some Szechuan peppercorns sitting around for a while, and I've wanted to use them, but I didn't have a blender, so uh, a spice grinder. I really wasn't able to use it. So once again, two oranges. I need this to dry out. Because we don't want any moisture. Yeah, it's still kind of sticking. inner spices. And I'm guessing in the oven it's probably going to need... I have 35 minutes um, because of the temperature difference. I was originally looking at 150 for 45 minutes, but now I'm at 175, so I have to keep an eye on this because I do not want any of the zest burning out. I want it to dry, but I don't want it to burn. <laughs> Getting my arm workout for today. Jeez. Without even intending to. It's not arm day. It says me. I was going to say, who barely exercised? That's not true. Jeff and I started doing some... That Derby website. We've been doing like some one thing a day. It's not a lot of exercising, but enough to... At least feel like we've done something. We've been doing it every day, so that's, that's a good... Good consistency from us. And these oranges, I swear... What else am I drying? This and the peppercorns. That's it. The other ones, I'm going to probably give this a rinse before I move on to the, the lemon. No mangoes or pomegranate today. I was looking up a... 
right? Um, tagines, because so I was, uh, I think, what was it, three months ago, our international cooking thing was Moroccan. And it was a month that I was kind of busy and I didn't have time to. But I had researched a bunch of tagines. And I was like, oh, I really want to make one. Then I never got around to it. But they have fruit in them usually. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to do like pomegranate or apricot. Um, those were kind of popular. Raisin tends to be popular. I'm going to... But now I need to find, like, a recipe to do for Sea of Thieves. Figure, like, a whole grilled fish makes sense. And then maybe season it with, like, mango and pomegranate. But I don't know how well that's going to play, those spices will play with a fish. Fish tends to be a bit more delicate. Right. All right, so this is my other one that I'm drying out. That's set. Again, I've been putting the peppercorns in there because I want them to toast up. I don't want to put the sesame seeds in there because those are very small and that would probably... Actually, I'm not even going to bend this one up. I'm just going to put this one as it is because we are... <laughs> we are zesting eight lemons. So many banana fish. Oh no. A mango salsa would play nicely with a. Ooh. So I was. Yeah, what did they had? They had whole red snapper. Right? Yeah. They always have that at HEB recently. At the HEB by me, they've been carrying that. And then occasionally <laughs> they'll have the like. Whole monkfish, and it's this—it's a very ugly fish. But uh, I don't know what I would do with a whole monkfish. But I mean, if they—I've seen it a few times, so clearly some people are buying the monkfish there and and cooking it. They keep doing that. All right, that's dry. Here I go. This is also why I'm making lemonade, because I'm going to be zesting all of this, and I'm going to be like, oh, what do I do with this? Maybe I'll actually double my lemonade recipe for myself. Jeff won't complain. I have to be careful, because I'm making it a mint one. Sometimes mint can overpower. but Sometimes it's nice and refreshing. As long as it's not in chocolate, I'm sorry, I think... Mint and chocolate is a crime. I always get sad. I know that's not a popular opinion. <laughs> Just because I like my chocolate as chocolate and I don't want mint like sneaking itself up on me. And think, what else do I need lemons for this weekend? I was gonna do I probably need four. Cause I was gonna make like a Greek um like a Greek chicken salad thing. So a little bit of lemon in that would be good. Oh, I need some for if I want to make the Lebanese garlic paste. Because <laughs> I have a lot of garlic in the fridge still. Chocolate in mint. See, that's what I, like I said, it's a, it's, a, it's a very not good opinion. If anything, it's a good thing for us to be friends. Because you know when you go to a restaurant and they give you the chocolate mint? You could have my chocolate mint. How am I going to put mint into the chocolate? Mint chocolate ice cream. 
Least favorite ice cream. There's... I just... I can't. See? It's fine. Yeah. You, you get the benefit of you being able to have all of it. And me going, I'm good. I don't want this. Because I was always something like with my sister. She loves it. Look loves mint chocolate um she's asked me numerous times oh you should do a mint chocolate recipe but she's in chicago and i'm here my ice cream breaker my, my ice cream maker is now broken because uh, i used it too much so let me make sure yeah these are going to start blowing out the the lights so I would always give her any of the mint chip stuff, or mint and chocolate stuff. I'd be like, here you go. You can have fun. I don't want this. I don't need this. Sounds louder. Which is why I don't, I don't think there's any mint, mint and chocolate recipes on my site. I don't think I did, no. So the fact that I'm even doing mint uh, lemonade is a is a step. But again, lemonade tends to be refreshing, and I, f I feel like mint is a flavor that's meant to be refreshing and, and light lifting. See, I do like spicy chocolate. So my tolerance for spicy is pretty low in general, but I like the kick that spicy adds to chocolate. Like a good spicy hot chocolate Yes, I, no, the Bloodstone ice cream is not chocolate, but I, I feel like spicy has rolls in places and in, in, in desserts, especially. I did a spicy bun cake, chocolate bun cake. That's in the, the fallout book. Cause I was like, well, I need to do like bun cakes, really popular 1950s style like recipe. So I was like, and there was like a bun cake um, one of the vaults had like a competition and I was like, well, this could be fun. Like people typically think of like normal chocolate and stuff. So put spicy in. Why not? It's a little kick is nice. Now, if you do too much and you're sitting there like, <laughs> then there's too much. But most of the, the spicy chocolate things I've had have been pretty good. But it does sound like I missed out going to work today because there were supposedly really, really spicy chips. Is this true, Brandon? Did you, did you cry? <laughs> the image was uh, definitely a thing. I guess at NASA, uh, a few friends have been, they try to buy the spiciest, like chips or spiciest um, snacks that they could find. A lot of them are coming from Asian countries, so Japan, China, probably Korean. Um, there is some really spicy stuff out there. Oh no, you cried. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I would probably cry. I will say my spice tolerance has gotten better over the years. Like, I'm more willing to put any amount of spicy in things. Which is a vast improvement to not wanting to put anything on. I'm not going to go off and buy, like, a... Even a habanero. No, I'm not going to do that. I could do a serrano. But I'm not going to sit there and eat them like, mm, this is delicious. I know something big I've seen here. Ghost pepper chips. Ghost... <laughs> that reminds me. So my sister. She likes spicy. 
I made a huge mistake. So we were making pizzas. She visited, my family visited. And we were making pizzas. And I think I bought... I think it was habaneros. I bought a few. Not thinking. It was like, it's a pizza. I have to warm up things. Like, I have to pan fry things. I put them in there. Oh, no. Everyone was in tears. We had to open windows. Such a mistake. Because we're sitting there like, this is so God, it smells so spicy. Now I know. Toast pepper. There was that, uh, the bag of chips that we saw in Japan that Nick bought where it was like a cool hot pepper sitting there and it was like extra spicy. I know Nick was in tears while he was, he ate the whole bag, but he was, he was like just sweating the whole time. That's the spicy level I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the, like, I, I want something so spicy that I'm sweating the whole time. To me, that seems like too much. Way, 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 way too much. Okay. Whew. Seem like enough. I'm not gonna make too much. I'll go with that for now. I'll go with my original numbers for now. Oof. <laughs> that is true. Any spicy like food when you're sick is real nice because it it clears out your sinuses. That's why. So. It does. Yes. That is true. And you're committed. Um, and I, I get it. Sometimes you're just sitting there and you're enjoying a dish. And you don't realize that you're sweating as you're eating it. Let me see. Four. I'm making lemon pepper salt. So we do want a good chunk of this. Um, look at this, the light. I got real funky in here. What is it saying? Um, that, so I like horseradish a lot. Um, my dad's family is Polish, so we would have a lot of Polish food. And I, I just love it, the horseradish. Um, and it was funny because when I met Jeff's parents, they're, they're Jewish and we were doing Passover and they're like, oh, at one point you have to take like a piece of matzah and put like horseradish on it. And they had, like, the sad horseradish where it had, like, the beetroot in it. And I was like, what's this? I'm like, this is sad horseradish. I'm not feeling it here. Mm -hmm. So now every year they buy the regular horseradish for me because I'm j I just sit there and I eat it. <laughs> just put it on a cracker and I just eat it by the spoonful because it's so good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm like, oh, I better, I better start do doing this with actually counting. All right. There's everything. Everything. On Ooh, that is rising. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put it in. Let's do 10 minute intervals. And every 10 minutes we'll go in and we'll kind of move them around so they... So they don't get a uh, clumpy, and all the parts are equally getting done. But look at this; it's only been what less than an hour, and we're already getting real giant here. So that's that's very good. It's a good sign. We haven't doubled yet, so we're gonna leave that there. Let's make let's juice these lemons so we can start doing the lemonade. Renee, did I tell you that we picked up a prime rib? I can't remember who I told. Who I've told that I picked picked up a whole prime rib. Cuz at around Easter they were they were half off again. 
which is always nice when they're half the price. So I have it in the the freezer. I know I told you, Brandon. Lemonade, lemonade, meat, lemonade. All right, so I have one in the freezer. I don't know when it's gonna be made, but it's there for whenever I finally decide to. <laughs> Nope. I swear I could write my... There we go. Ooh, I did not. This is why I read. I am not doing this. I was trying to decide with the, uh, the lemonade. If I wanted to add... <laughs> lemon zest to it and it would amplify the taste a bit but I, I don't know how I'd feel about it. I feel like my lemonade should be a little smoother than that I'm actually going to put these away this be directly behind the camera I'll use these later this weekend clearly I should just make like a an orange cake Doo -doo -doo. hooray half a cup these are pretty big lemons So let's see. <laughs> These are actually bigger than I usually grab, so they're definitely going to be. Like one of these is going to give me enough. No, that's not true. Two of them will. Enjoy your late lunch. Thanks for stopping by. These lemons are huge. This is a lemon juice or thing, and it's like I, I can't I can't get in there. I'll do a second one. I'll do, oh, sorry, a second one. I'm gonna do a double batch of this for sure. I hope I have enough mint. I wanna make sure I have, I think each of those packets might have enough for what I am, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Costco lemons, why? You are unreasonably large. I think on my list, I'm happy I didn't, but on my list I had, I need 20 lemons for everything that I'm going to be doing this weekend. Of course not thinking about how I was going to be zesting one and using the juice for a different recipe. Um... When I went to Costco, there was these five pound bags and they had 12 and I was like, do I buy two of these? It seems like too many lemons. These also seem bigger. Happy I didn't buy two of them. Cause it looks like this is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, so those three I'll save for tomorrow maybe? Yeah. Oh, for some reason, the lemon is making me want to sneeze. 
but I think we're good. I think we're safe. Actually, let me just grab the trash can. So I have a cup of lemonade. Of lemonade. Nope, that's just lemon juice. Don't lie to yourself. Whew. I'm gonna put this stuff over here because I'm not zesting anymore. I'm gonna put these lemons away because I don't need them anymore. And they'll be fine. And I think I'm just being a good boy right now. Have you been a good boy this whole time, Kanj? I think he deserves a treat. You deserve a treat? Yeah. You've been very good. Very, very good boy. So I gotta walk this way. Give me a moment. No, you can't go off camera. I'll give you cotton skin this day. Pooch. Ready? There you go. Good boy gets a reward. So. I need to make my sh syrup. Where is my? It's over here. Nope. So I just make a mess. So I'll do this. I'll start this here. So I'm doing equal parts sugar and water for the syrup. Now. The end result won't be only that much water, but that's, as I mentioned earlier, it's really important to mix the, let the, the sugar heat into the water and dissolve into it, because otherwise your lemonade is just going to have sugar at the bottom. This helps infuse the two together, essentially. And you, you'll have nice sugar-flavored water instead of sugar at the very bottom. Since I'm making a double batch, well, I hope I know where my pitcher is. Ooh, not sure where that is. So one cup of that and I need a cup of water. So, as you can see, I just mixed the two in there into the pan. Let's see, yeah, the saucepan. I'm going to take a whisk. I'm going to put, oh, do I have a whisk? Yep. Nope. We're going to wait a moment and we're going to, guess I'll be using this for that. I feel like my thing here is being weird. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to kind of shake everything up. Ooh, <laughs> smells fancy in the oven. Kind of just give it a little bit of a, a toss a -roo. Okay, I definitely already see it's kind of starting to like look like it's drying out. But we still got a ways to go. Because there definitely is a good chunk of moisture in there. So once again, 10 minutes again. Ha! 
Hello, Lee. How are you? I think I have another thing. Ta-da! So I'm going to put this over medium heat. I don't need it to be like boiling. And I'm just heating this until it uh, the sugar dissolves and is nicely incorporated in there. I'm doing that. Now let me find my pitcher. <laughs> Wherever that ended up. Pitcher. Pitcher. You over here? It's up here. It's all right. Not sad yet. We're sad because Kanji walked away. Aha! Uh -huh. It's in a conveniently low area. It feels like it's gonna like fall off. Key. I'm gonna just pretend like nothing's happening. So I do need to. I originally said 20 leaves, but I'm doubling this recipe because I had a lot of lemons. Where is... Here it is. My muddler. Because I want the mint to kind of release its... Am I going to be able to, like, reach? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> kind of take a plate. And put them there. Kanji, are you going to be off camera and then bark at it? Get in your bed. No, sir. Bed. No. <laughs> Those bats. Go get on your bed. Get on there. There you go. Thank you. One leaf. Yeah, 20 mint leaves. Three. Nine, we'll count those. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect. It's actually going to be good. 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. Five, right, six, seven. Again, this this packaging makes me laugh because it gives me both culinary and med medical use for these things. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 40 leaves. Lots of mint. It smells very minty. Very herbal. So I need to make sure that I give my sugar water a little mix here. I don't want to forget it completely. So again. I'm just doing this until it dissolves. Not putting a, not moving the conch cam right now. I think when the pita bread starts getting made, I will move it over there. But beyond that, which I'm still surprised how quickly that's been rising. 
I do need to give the the mint a, a quick a quick rinse. <sighs> then I need to dry it and then just kind of beat them up a little bit. thing that I'm hoping with this the muddling that it'll at least help infuse the flavor a bit more and that's what it's it's that's what the muddling does it technically pulls out the the oils and stuff from the mint mint. I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of a... Kind of start it here because I can't... I don't think I could reach it that well in there. Again, I'm just trying to say, hey leaves, I need you to let your essences out. Smells like spearmint gum. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure. I feel like this pitcher has something in it. What did I make last? Oh, I think it was the Diablo 3 health potions. that went in here. <laughs> it's always funny like making big alcoholic drinks because I don't drink much. I maybe <laughs> have half a beer every like three months if that. So when I make drinks for the website it's always <laughs> well I'm not making too much. Eh, if people want to make like big party drinks, they could figure it out and multiply it <laughs> by the amount that they would need. Eh. So it's there. It's doing its thing. Okay, we're getting close to needing to f move things. I'm wondering, because if I start my second pita dough, it won't be ready to work be worked with till after four, and I have to I have to leave at four. I have to wrap up at around four, so I probably. <laughs> my, my <laughs> the only time I use math is with my recipes. So easy, but it's easy math. You sometimes have to deal with fractions, but it's not too bad. Okay, this, there we go. So now, in here, I don't see any sugar. It's all gone. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna let that sit and cool. I'm gonna let this in cool. So I was thinking about, so the last, I'll just start like saying things. Let me mix this again. 
So the last time I streamed, I did the cookie test. Uh, someone kind of was like, oh, you, I like snickerdoodles. You should do something with snickerdoodles. And I'm thinking, this is still very wet. Thinking of testing it with not just peanut butter, but other flavors. But one thing I was thinking about with my chocolate chip cookies, because I do have the end result that I was really happy with. There's that point you usually finish them off and you, you want to add the extra salt. So one of the things I wanted to do, I'll probably do that next, is I want to make a vanilla salt, <laughs> which I guess is a popular gift item that people give people. I don't know. I've never had it. But I feel like a vanilla cinnamon salt mixture would top real nicely on there. And instead of it just being, actually, where's my, instead of it just being salt, I think of a nice vanilla. I'm happy you like them. Yeah, you, you got the batch of uh, the winners. That was the set that is the king, the king of cookies, which I think I'm going to be making them tomorrow again give them to the people at work all right so i'm not going to do another pita i'm going to just do this one but let's goof around with a vanilla salt let's try that out oh i think i messaged terry the other day when he was telling me about your getting stranded near bucky's he mentioned that the cookies were still in his car. Hopefully they're not in his car anymore. But I know you guys haven't had that much sun. Gotta split the vanilla bean and scrape the seeds. And I wanna transfer it to a bowl with the salt and cinnamon and mix it together until the vanilla beans are evenly distributed with the salt. I'm placing an airtight container. Let us see. Actually, I'm not even gonna take that. I'm gonna just take my large bag of salt. It says to do it, it says I say, to do it in a bowl. I guess that'll be a nice way to keep things a little organized. I am really curious how the... You go with that. Oh, I didn't grab my cinnamon. Um, so this one doesn't really require... Half teaspoon. Let me get my cinnamon. Uh-oh. Hopefully it doesn't take the internet out with me. See what I mean? I found it. I found the cinnamon kanji. Salt, cinnamon, vanilla bean. I grabbed these. They didn't have a price. I didn't even look at what the price was. <laughs> Actually, no. That's not true. I knew I needed vanilla beans, and the price weren't on these when I picked these up at H-E-B. But I know, like, the Fiesta brand stuff tends to be a little cheaper than things. I can only hope. Okay, so I'm going to grab an another knife. I'm making so many dishes for myself. Oh no, I gotta work. <laughs> of course, while not in the office today, I get a work email. I will... Hmm... I will not think about that for now. And not 
not worry about that. Because I can't. Because I can't do anything about it. Right. Oh well. So, vanilla bean. Um, the important part of the vanilla bean is in the inside. The wonderful seeds. <laughs> Kanji's sitting there like, do I get some? So, I'm going to split it in half with the knife. See, not holding my knife safely. And I've split it. So now in here, there are all the beautiful seeds. So I'm just going to kind of scrape them into this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hurt people's ears. Make sure I get as much as I can out of this. Just so I get a real good feel for what a good this is a this is a pretty potent one, which is good. I've I've had some bad vanilla beans where it's just like, wow, none of this is coming out. Great. So there's cer there's certain brands I won't won't bother with. I think McCormick's is one of them. Their vanilla beans. They're pricey and I feel like they've, I've gotten dry ones from there. Now it might not be at the fault of them. It might be the, the grocery store had it sitting there for a while but I don't got time for that. So they're so, they smell so good. Let's see. Just a bunch of bunch of beans. So at least I know with this setup, I'll be able to test this one. Maybe tomorrow. It depends how my day goes tomorrow. So tomorrow, I am getting a haircut. But I'm also, I'm getting my hair dyed for the first time. So that should be interesting kind of regret not having it then a little earlier before the uh for like the overwatch weekend that we had but we'll see i don't know if my hair is gonna take i hope it will Okay, this is kind of... No, Kanji! What are you doing? <laughs> He's moved from his bed directly in front of it. No, sir. Get back on your bed. He's like, I, I refuse, Mama. Oh. <laughs> he refused, and then I started to move... I was about to move the camera, and he's like, Oh, fine, Mama. isn't that far. Huh, you still get his butt. That's fine. Oh, this is this is looking good. I think this ratio is right. I wanted it to have a decent amount of beans, but I'm trying to make sure. I still have some chunks kind of sitting around. <laughs> when I was talking to these people about vanilla beans, they were like, oh, they're so expensive. It's like, what would you do with them? I'm like, well, they, they have a lot more flavor than the extract, and the, the seeds are wonderful. But, I don't know. I don't know what most if most people use. I would 
would wonder if like a recipe does call for a vanilla bean, how likely is a person to go out to buy a vanilla bean or are they more likely to just be like, oh, whatever, I'll just put extract in and get the flavor. They might be more likely to do whatever's easiest for them. That's for sure. But to each, each cook, they have their own set of time and own ability to do things. Okay. Let me see. One hour. Yeah, so. Our pita bread has been, our pita bread dough has been resting for a little over an hour now. It's probably right at three. Let's take a look at this. Still, yeah, I think this is probably gonna have to still go the whole 45 minutes because it's still pretty damp. Some of it. That's actually so. The lime seems to be drying out quicker. The orange, orange is taking the slowest time, and the lemon's getting there. Okay. So that's something for me to note too, that different citruses are going at different times. So that was the 30 minute mark for, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, sounds right. I should check, is this, that's still pretty warm. I should put my half teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> I'm running out of things because I am making a huge mess. Where is it? feel like I have hmm where'd my baby teaspoons go I don't even know wait here's a teaspoon I was like, where did it go? All I kept seeing was my, like, half tablespoon and tablespoon thing over there. Okay. So I feel like this is a good salt mixture for, like, dessert items. To kind of play nice with it. Let's see. It's just going to... So it gives the slightest hint of the vanilla bean. Actually, that'll be nice on top of the cookies. Okay. Wish some of these clumps did a better job of I think I'm just gonna I could sit here forever trying to fix that. I'm actually gonna do is I'm also gonna leave the bean in there to just kind of have that extra flavor sit there. One seasoning done. I'm not gonna need the cinnamon anymore, I don't think. Maybe. But I think at this point. This is cooled enough 
then I'm going to go ahead and put my syrup in there with the mint. That sounds really good, actually. I'm going to put the lemon juice in there. So now if you were to have this right now, it is very strong. So I'm going to, that's right, I've doubled this. So it's typically two cups of water is what I was thinking. Two to three. Depending on how strong you want the, your lemonade to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the, four cups out, but I'm going to first put a just one of them. I sometimes like my lemonade to be I want it to sometimes kind of kick me in the face, but kind of got tired of his bed, yeah. So you can see his like little feet behind it. this side should have grabbed like a bowl whoop let's see yeah so I think as the mint gets to sit there that's gonna be better I'll just put the whole four. Just pour it in and not mix it. Okay, let me mix it up a little bit. Little, little mix, mix. Little, little mix, mix. Little mix, little mix. Little, little mix, mix. Yep. All right. That is good. I was trying to decide earlier, I'm like, do I want to add another one? But that right there makes it a lot. Adding that extra cup makes it a lot smoother. So that's it for this. Um, I typically like to leave the lemonade at least in the fridge for probably four hours so it cools off before I actually serve it. Because we did have the hot... Oh gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> I went food shopping. There's no room in the fridge. <laughs> hmm. I have the opposite problem that most people do with their fridge. My fridge is always too full. Too much stuff in it. Hmm. Can you fit there? Close enough. Can you fit in here now? <laughs> See, just kind of like trying to. Oh no! How do? You... <laughs> I'm assuming it's not cooling anything. If it's broken. Is is things are things going bad in there? Or is it a, uh, it just isn't cold. Oh, it's warm. That's not good. Did you report it to your, um, are you at an apartment complex or are you like renting a home?
Okay. Okay, you got you got an electrician coming in. How old's the fridge? Kind of cleaning up a little bit. Ah, okay. I do think fridges have a decent lifespan, but I guess it also depends on the brand and stuff that you buy, what they're typical. I think at one point I thought our fridge was doing funky stuff. Like I had meat that would go bad quicker than I expected. So. Oh. Did you guys have big storms last? I know you guys were supposed to have storms, but did you have like power outages? What's that? That's in there. There's another. See earlier? I was saying time goes slowly. Now, now I'm like, oh my gosh, already 30, 10 minutes past? Okay. okay, it's getting there. There's still a good chunk on me. It's not too hot, so I can use my hands for this. Again, we're trying to dry it out, not burn things out. The rosemary finished it pretty quick. This one's starting to stick a little. Yeah, did you try... Yeah, that's a good point. That's why I was bringing up. Did you try, like, restarting the fuse to see if anything happened? I know electricians could be expensive. That's always one that I'm like, Ooh, do I want to call an electrician? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is no fun. I'm actually because it's probably it's a little warmer in here than than usual, so it'd be <laughs> so, um, that that feeling of like dealing with anything very relatable. Like there have been times. Great example, this stove, we've replaced the light twice and they break instantly. You know what? It keeps working. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with it anymore. So it just sits there. I'm always afraid that we're going to... That if I touch something that I don't have the expertise for and it's just going to explode on me. Whoop. That really... uh. Really expand the crazy. I'm gonna take this off. Right, so I wanted to place it here, lightly pat it down, and then I'm gonna divide it into ten equal pieces. I couldn't decide if it was ten or eight. I'm gonna kind of see what ten looks like. Like, where is my where? This is a moment that I would like to use it. So, typically, um, I've seen them marked up. Like, in the apartments I've stayed in, I've seen them marked up, and, and they've been 
this is what this is for this area. I know here at this house, um, they're labeled like they'll be like kitchen one, kitchen two. Some of them are weirdly labeled, or I'm like, what does that mean? But yeah, they're typically labeled in some form. Yeah. yeah I still feel like the the six. 83. <laughs> Divided by 10 would be about 68 per, 68 grams per. All right, are you lying to me? What's your actual... Yeah, six. Right. And that's why I have this. Let's just chip chop. Want to get about five. I'm really good at like eyeballing. <laughs> yeah, see, eighty-three, sixty-six, sixty-three. I'm gonna make them into little balls soon enough. Sixty-five. Doing a good job at not. Six. Sixty-eight. That probably is a good. A good amount. This one's huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some of these were a little lighter. Here. <laughs> Here. A lot lighter. Close enough. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Close enough. Go ahead and kind of. Kanji's completely gone. He's bored. He's done. Going to hide the kanji cam then if he's not gonna behave himself. So I'm gonna make him into a little ball. Don't wanna overdust these. Because I know these are going to need another, another 30 minutes. Another rise is what they're going to need. That's what I should say. A second proof. Kind of. Ooh, 
my life easier doing it that way. Kind of do the tucking. Just so we kind of get that dough moving a little bit. Ding, ding, ding. has a mind of its own. This is what happens when I'm focused. Trying to make sure I'm getting things done. Nice and moist. I'm, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for that nice puff up. when these cook. At the same time, I'm also like expecting it to be like, no, nah, I'm just gonna, just gonna not do anything and be the flatbread variety. And I'm just like, no, why? But the dough is really easy to work with, which is nice. Because I have dealt with doughs. I've poorly done doughs is what I should say. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. The whole wheat flour is definitely giving like a nice extra color to it, like an extra texture. So that's exciting. What I probably want to do is kind of like flower this area. <laughs> Shuffle these onto the flowered spot. Because they are going to be, they're being given time to rise again. Come right in the middle. Right in the way. You're good. You're a good timer. <laughs> My original thought of the 45 minutes was wrong. Even at that, it would have been a lower temperature. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I do know... See, so 30 minutes on that. Yeah, that's looking good. It's like, like trying to think of the timing. That seems fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... A lot of this that's like blown out. Well, um, this is, it's almost there. Yeah, it needs like 10 more minutes. And then I think, oh my gosh, what a difference. <laughs> Every time I keep coming back to it, it's just, there's like a different, it's like slowly dehydrating nicely. Yes. All right. That's good. Good, good, good. So, 10 minutes on that, and then for those at 315 is when we will start rolling them out. So that should be good. 10 minutes. So I guess I should, I should grab my, uh, my spice grinder and see what I have to do to set that up. It's a little guy. It's not too big. Of course, I picked a white. Background. I'm gonna move them. <laughs> They're gonna get angry at me. Boop. 
He's already puffing up. Jeez. The yeast today is really, like, excited about itself. Let me clean this up. I keep somewhat tidy as I'm going through all this nonsense. So I haven't used this yet. And I'm hoping it's just magic. It's a little device. Now there were two different, there were a few different brands I was looking at. Um, Names right there. The Krups brand. One of the negatives about this is I can't take the container out and separate things, so I have to kind of like dust clean it. But I should only be putting dry things in it, so it shouldn't be too bad. That's as far as it. <laughs> so, eh. It's a little cord. It's still in shot, so it's fine. Now, this might be very loud. We were doing one, two, three. Three, and I conveniently have three containers. I should date these. Where is my tape? One moment. things like this. I just like to put tape on them because this is painter's tape that we've used when we've painted some of the walls here. It ends up being more than you need. And I find it doesn't stick too, like, strongly. What's today? The third? The third? The fourth? No, it is the third. May 3, 2019. That pen might be dying. I should could mark all of these because all of these are going to be made on. tape was much smaller than the other one. Especially with things like this, I, I do think it's important to make sure you kind of label it if you're doing your own homemade stuff. Just so you don't have to guess. I know I've typically either written the day it's made on or the day I know it should be tossed out. I think the first time I started doing that was when I was doing the syrup for the Fallout book. Because I had so much... I had so much um, soda syrup after that. It was just a weird thing to be like, oh, I have to make a bunch of sodas. I never drink soda. Uh-oh. So that definitely was a, a tricky thing to deal with. Didn't die yet. Did that. Okay. Probably going to start with the orange, lime, rosemary salt. 
I think I basically take everything. Put it in the spice grinder and blend it until the peppercorns are blend. <sighs> Realize I'm like... Pepper. So I kind of know what I have. Orange lime. And this one will be my Chichimi Togarashi. But because I don't have a lot of space, I'll just write seven spice. <laughs> I know I put 10 minutes, but I do want to kind of keep an eye on this because I don't want it. Actually, that'd be good. Oh, it's so cool. You're real neat. Whoop. <laughs> Just drop it all over the floor. So, uh, see, like, it's all kind of dried out. Especially the rosemary, you kind of see how it, like... <laughs> so. I'm just going to be f a few tests here with the thing. How easy is it to clean up? between each of the blends and how quickly and efficiently this thing blends stuff. Now, I'm excited to finally have this. I also don't know how loud it is, so. Okay, so that is my orange, lime, rosemary, and some pepper. Make sure I grab the right one. So let's pop that up. Oh, that's loud. That's very loud. I'm going to mute it. It's going to make me sneeze. <laughs> I'm going to quickly close that. It's real nice. Oof. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. I'll have to time her out. <laughs> I never that for anything. And AJ, how are you doing? Ooh, this looks nice. This looks very nice. Kind of wish I had a brush. Well, I kind of. Now, before I be putting my fingers in things, let me unplug it. <laughs> we don't want any accidents here. Ooh, it's nice and very excited about that. All right. There's no salt in here yet. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Ooh, it smells, it smells really nice. That will go real nicely with lamb. Like I'm smelling that and I'm like, okay, when am I buying some lamb? 
Maybe I'll get some soon. Is it? Oh my god, it's dirty. <laughs> I ran out of time today. So it's just like... Last night I was like, I sadly watched the half, the first half of the Outlaws game. <laughs> and then was like, you know what? This isn't worth my time. And I went to sleep. <laughs> and then, of course, that I wake up and I see the message from Sam. Oh, they're going to lose to game five. Mm, no surprise there. Outlaws are making me. They did. I'm happy they actually, like, at least showed some... I haven't watched the match, and I, I'll probably watch it later tonight. Um, they showed some signs of life, but I feel like this season, it's just like... I'm tired. Because <laughs> I know the organization itself is going... The Outlaws group is not... Doing well. I mean, they've had issues. They're not making big changes. So I'm like, uh, hopefully someone picks them up and then maybe next season it'll be better. I'll just go cheer for the spark. Spark and hunters. I don't need a team to be number one. I at least want a team to... Look like they're trying. Okay, so cleaning, cleaning can be. Let me get a wet one, wet paper towel, and then I'll use that dry one again. Oh my gosh. That does make a small amount. Oh, but then I would have had zest more oranges. Yeah, so at this point, yeah, I'd, I don't know if the outlaws are going to at least make a difference, do anything different, try and make changes, if they can even. When does... I know at some point, like, trades and all that close up. When are they supposed to close up this season? 1 fourth cup. So looking at this, it's half, half salt and half the season, which is what I believe I roughly want. Don't close that up because we're going to need more salt later. Oh my god. What did I expect? That'll go. Actually, I think it needs more salt. I feel like the spices... Like the peppers overpower in it. I need like two more. I don't feel like a fourth cup would be right. I think a, like two tablespoons. So like a third cup would have been the right... Right now, yeah, it feels like the the pepper's overpowering it a little much. And I don't want this one to be overpowered by the pepper. Yeah. 
That's much better. It's kind of weird tasting it that way because I'm like, uh, I mean, I guess I'm just kind of eating salt. Yeah, that's good. Two. Okay, which one should I do next? The lemon pepper? Or let's do the shichimi. Togarashi. So this has orange and the pepper. Orange zest, the black pepper, Sichuan pepper. I need to grab some sesame seeds. Just now I'm wondering. Cause these sesame actually I might want to toast the sesame seeds. Because I'll just do that in a pan real quick. Not in this pan. In a clean pan. Those are usually sitting in the fridge. Two teaspoons of each. There's my teaspoon. intended, but I, I kind of ran out of time to post. I made a while ago now. I haven't had, I haven't had a chance to put them up. Uh, Taranto Defiant Popsicles. So I was going to be, I, it's been a while since I've done a Overwatch Popsicle set. I really like those because half of it is a Black Sesame Popsicle. And I think Black Sesame is one of the best uh, dessert things. So wonderful. And I want more excuses to do to using it. Okay. So there's the pepper and the orange zest. Don't need these in here for too, too long. Okay, crisp up. What I might do is I might start blending this ahead of time because I don't want the I don't want the sesame seeds to be completely pulsed to a to oblivion. So what? Are you barking at the computer? So, nori. This is just dry seaweed. This is usually what you get in unsushi. That's what's used to roll it up. So I'm gonna pre do this scent. I gotta remember I didn't mute the mic. It was perfect because Kanji was barking a storm. As Kanji is wont to do. <laughs> so there are definitely like storms moving in here. And he's like, wind? How dare the wind?
Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got worried for a second because the nori was not wasn't like grinding. It's having a hard. Well, no, it's because it's like sitting on there, but it's starting to grind up, so that's good. I need to squeeze a little longer. Now, this is supposed to be a, my nice spicy mix. This is definitely going to make me sneeze. Like, there's no way it's not. Okay, let's see. One fourth cup. <laughs> One third cup. So I want this to have some good kick to it. So, third cup. Third cup, third cup. Okay, I'm gonna mute again because it's gonna be loud. So it started. Ooh, it's, it looks like it. Oh, that's exciting. So kind of waiting for these sesame seeds to. I'm a little worried because it is. <laughs> this is gonna be a harder one for me to like just try willy-nilly. No. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Have some pieces of chocolate. There. Yeah. The correct way to reduce the temperature. So I'm probably not going to keep trying this one too much. Let me unplug. I want to remove half of this. Because I do want some of the, the red pepper flakes to still kind of have their form. Actually, let's kind of keep remove a little more than that. Oh, it's going to make me sneeze. Because <laughs> the pepper. The pepper is definitely a... Uh, So yeah, um, kanji was a, oh my gosh, I'm going to, oh, this is definitely going to be. <laughs> Sneeze central here. I 
true. Give me, give me one moment. <laughs> be a good idea to have the mic on. Remember, of course, like, mute it again. Because I'm going to be blending this once more. And that's it, yeah. Right. Don't want to blend that too much because I don't want the... Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I smell sesame seeds now. But the pepper really wants to make me sneeze. Okay, this one made a lot more. We are already unplugged. So, safety first. And spice and now I'm gonna mix this because we have the the portion that wasn't over mixed before no this one yeah this just looks like it it's exciting it, it looks like what I've seen at uh no I know it's not gonna focus all that well but this is pretty pretty consistent with what I've seen. Don't want to breathe in too deeply. So that's, that's good. All right, last one. Like I know it's coming. The dangers of working with red pepper flakes and grinding them up. Of course, Kanji's sitting there staring, judging. I can't see him right now. Well, actually, he's kind of more... He's back in the camera, sort of. <laughs> judging from a distance is what he's doing. Okay, yeah. So this one definitely left more like in the grinder than the last one. Kind of grind it out. Just come on. Getting some, what the hell? I 
You need to do one more. So this last set is the lemon pepper. I'm actually doing a lemon garlic pepper because I figured why not? Lemon and garlic are delicious. I did see at Costco they had like freeze dried garlic. And I think the, the intent of it is that you can just add liquid and, and use the garlic whenever you need it. And I was like, oh, would that work better? Eh, that seems like too specialized of a thing to tell people to go look for. Okay. There we go. Okay, last spice mix. And then we'll move on to the pitas. Finishing up the pitas. And we'll be able to finish right on schedule. Like I wanted to. So there is a good chunk in here. I'm wondering how much of this is actually going to... Oh, let's see. I think I'm going to do half of it first. Okay, there we go. So I did half of it, and it's already like half, half the size it was. I'm a little worried that there might be too much pepper again. But we'll see. I think, I think in terms of lemon to pepper, there's, there might be too much. Mm. What I might do with this is uh, later, maybe do, because I have a few more lemons over there. See if I need the zest for anything and maybe zest some more and dry them. Because it's definitely uh, not as yellow as I would like it to be. Let me add the other ingredients in first before I give it a taste through. One fourth cup of the garlic powder. Actually, the garlic powder might help with the color. Yep. teaspoons of just I want to dry oregano I could have used I actually did find some fresh oregano today but I wasn't confident in it when I was purchase like when I was writing this recipe out so I decided not to and then I need to do two tablespoons of salt Uh, conversion, I always forget. Uh, Actually, I would want teaspoon, three teaspoons, so six teaspoons. Since I have my, that's all I have right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. 
Nice thing about using these airtight containers, uh, just I can mix it in, in its container. Ah, uh, yes. All right, just brighten up a little bit. It only needs more lemon, but that is pretty nice. Probably add two more, zest of two more lemons tomorrow. Not gonna worry about that right now. Cause I gotta, I gotta get moving. Let me shuffle a few things out of the way real quick. Cause I might, kind of use left again. The moment I turn this camera on, I think. I will deal with cleaning that later. Um, cause at this point, these bad boys have grown. <laughs> My boys have grown. So let's finish these up. Where's my cleaner? I'm gonna give this a little bit of a rub down. Make sure that we don't have any of this because there's probably spice residue kind of in a lot of area. We don't want to accidentally introduce more spice than it's necessary. Now this is the part that I think should go relatively quickly. Basically, pat it down, roll it out, put it on the high, high heat, and it should poof up. But for that, just clean. Um, I am gonna wanna put wet cam over here. So I might have to take a moment to move that. I think it would be nice to see it going poof. This pan's like oxidizing, maybe? I don't know. The cheapo pan that I got it at HEB. I was like, I need to make tortillas. Uh, this should work. So I'm gonna start heating this one up. I want it hot. Nice and hot. So, I'm gonna turn off the kanji cam real quick. Again, and I'm gonna move. Actually, I'm gonna put the B right back. So I'm gonna be talking while it's up. But I need to like walk in front of that camera a bunch to be able to move it. And then once I, whoop, I also kicked it. So good on me. Put the main focus back on and turn this one off and keep moving it. Huh, that's mostly in the, in the same spot. So I don't want it too high because I want it like there. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking. Two up. And this one. We're gonna have to take a moment because it's going to, yeah, not be in the right spot. Do -do 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 
do do Okay, that works. So we're heating that up, and we want it to be extra, extra hot. So you can see how it's large. It got real big. Where's my ro Is it here? No, I put my rolling pin away. One moment, please. Let me grab that. Oh, I should have flour. I need to be careful here. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's going to start moving this. I hope this angle's not too... That angle's not weird or anything. Uh, let me know if that's doing anything weird to you. Sometimes I know. I've seen some weird camera angles on food things, and I'm like, oof. A circle-ish. Should have made some like tzatziki or something with this. But I know I need this for the the chicken salad that I'm going to be making later. So, so I have the time to prep. Why not? Just went pretty. Th thin, because I was pretty sure you're, you don't want to go too, too thin, but I know you're supposed to go thin-ish. Swap back over. These. See? All right. So I actually, I do have... My dad just recently sent me one of his spare cameras that he had. It's not a it's not a webcam, so I'm thinking I need to I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit to make sure I could get it set up correctly. So I'm hoping to have a third camera in the kitchen soon. So then I could consistently have one wherever any of the cooking happens. Which would be nice. And it will be better than this. The camera that I've been using as the kanji cam. So I have olive oil here just in case. But I don't think it needs it. Because it didn't need it for when I did the naan. Wrong one. Um... Medium high heat. I'm gonna look at something real quick while that's still heating up. It's still doing its thing. It's warming up. I've got my pita in my hand. It's ready for me. Extremely hot. So I want to. I want to make sure it's hot because I know that's probably the most important part. Because if there's not enough heat, the steam that with all the moisture that's in here is not going to pop it open. So I'm like making a wall here. Jeez. Um. Iron skillet. High heat. Heat is now at high, so it should. I mean, for all I know, like this first one will be be an oops a doozle. This was just whoop. This one was just touching spices earlier, so I could probably use this. For Actually, since the heat's so high.
I'm gonna use this one instead. All right, I'm gonna take a guess. We're gonna see if it works, if it does it. Um, should be able to just pop it on there. Don't know if it was hot enough yet. Well, no, we are getting some air here. So it might not be hot enough. Dang. I think we're close, but not. No, we're getting some air pockets. Which, yeah, that makes me think it needed to be hotter. Um, should get a plate so I could. Oh my gosh, that is like so blown out. Oh, this camera. Bad camera. Let me, uh. Um. Configure this. Advanced settings. I think it's the goddamn game. No, let me. Please. The uh, device won't let me. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's trying. It's trying again. Ugh. It's not the best looking picture. Hey, it actually is getting its bubble. So that's good. I'm gonna flip it. it does smell like a pita. It's so blown out. It's probably because it's on like that. <laughs> it's the real black. Uh... Big real dark. Oh, there we go. Wait, that might be. Okay, we're gonna make this a bit darker just so it. So the rest of it's gonna be pretty dark for now, but then you could at least see the pita. Alright. So we got a nice. Ooh. Okay, so we don't need oil on that. That's nice and warm. Okay, so what we'll be doing at this point is when I put one down, I'm going to have another one getting ready over here. Oops. I want them to be nice circles. These first few are probably going to be goofs. I said they're going to be goofs. Uh, so, it's doing its thing over there. Roll this way. Probably should be using flour. See the little air pockets? Okay, this one, this one looks much nicer. Oh, this one's an poof up. Yeah, this one has a nice pocket already, so. Dang it. Oh, maybe it broke in a spot? No, it's just starting to burn, so. Yeah, that one started to burn. This one's ready. I 
Boop, 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 boop. And spread this one out. Okay. Do I have two ready? This one is bust. Let's try this one. Nice and just flopped on. Ooh, that down there. Oof, that's hot. Okay, we're getting the air pockets again. We're trying to see if we get that nice whole pocket. It's looking a little... Mm. Hmm. That's trying. There it goes. There it goes. Hooray! This one's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And then it kind of stopped. Might have to flip it already. Yep. Yeah, I need to be a little quicker with the flips. So, it's the one I got that didn't poof at all. Kind of some parts. From a flavor perspective, it's very good. Oh, yeah, that's very tasty. But I need it to lightly press this one down. I'm going to just roll it out. Very. So maybe not thin enough. Spin it that way. Okay, I went a little bigger with this one. Kind of like reduce the heat slightly. I wonder if it's cooking. Well, I know I wanted hot, hot heat, but I don't know if it was too much heat. Because this one's starting to pop up, but it also looks like. Like it's burning right away. So yeah, that burnt off. Alright. Let me reduce the heat. Slightly. Hey, Kanj. You leave that door alone. That was very tasty. I think that part I'm happy with. Okay. This one's slightly thinner. I've reduced the heat a little bit. Pop that down. Let that kind of do its thing a little bit. Press, press. Make circle. Make circle. Oops. He's ready. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, 
I would definitely throw a gear on this. <laughs> oh, yay! Look at this guy. I think the temperature swap was a good calm. Maybe. Making him a little thinner. Okay. Okay, we're learning. We're learning as we do them. I like to have the, the computer over there. Oh, hello, Renee. You get to catch us kind of attempting to make the pitas. Some of them are puffing. Some of them aren't. Well, actually, a good chunk of them have puffed. They're still tasty, but some of them aren't getting that pocket that they're supposed to. So let's hope that guy does it. But they're very good. What'd you end up getting for lunch? Whoop. Some flour. But don't. Let's try that too. The Brit again. I still need to go there. We haven't been to the the buff burger. So buff. But I know for you, you conveniently have the one. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So I think it was a combination of a few things with those other ones. I do think the temperature might have been too high. Oh, really? Oh, it's raining on that side of town? Oh, gosh. I've definitely seen, like, the clouds, like, dim. Like, the light in here is dimmed and it's gone up, dimmed. I have all the, like, the kitchen lights on. Just because I've seen that that does a better job with the lighting in here. I'm going to be honest about you, with, it, with these. I could just eat a whole plate of them. Like, the flavor is very good. But I am one that is all about carb over overloading. <laughs> Oops. Kind of missed a little. We're good. It's still in there. It's also late on a Friday, so I imagine most people have their... Uh, their lunch is a little earlier because they leave work earlier. <laughs> that is definitely something I've noticed here in Texas in general. Like, the commutes on Friday rush hour and stuff tends to be earlier. <laughs> the going home rush hour. I think people check out here. Oops. A lot earlier. I guess the one thing I'm going to be very curious about is how these reheat. Oh, that one's getting puffy. No, that's good. We want it to get puffy. And hi, Maroon. How are you? Yes, that's actually perfect. Because it getting puffy like this means I'm going to have a pocket. And I want a pocket in a pita. Yep. 
So puff is good. Puff is very good in this case. I mean, if anything, Cinco de Mayo is what? A, a, a good excuse for people to sit around and drink? People will use that excuse for anything. So I'm going to wrap this in here to kind of hold the heat also in there. Okay, so when I flip them, they don't poof as much. That's something I want to... That's good. Okay. I'm going to remove this put this here and repeat we have three more I only did one of these today I was thinking of doing two sets but I think I'm happy with how this this one worked Starting to get a little, a little bit of. Oh, I missed a few. I guess there was a bonkers who followed and a wrong team followed. <laughs> My, <laughs> they're not, they're not random. There's enough food in video games that I think they are worth doing together. Um, obviously with cookbooks and stuff coming out too there is there is a, enough of a community out there for it but thank you so much for the follow thanks for for checking out the stream oh yay this one's really puffing this is good yeah these uh pitas they have garlic in them so I added a uh, garlic powder there just to give it some extra flavor. So I was, I was happy with that decision. I was trying to decide if I wanted to use more whole wheat flour over regular flour. But I think the ratio of regular flour to whole wheat flour ended up being fine. Oof. Whoop. That's good. That's good. Got nice pocket. This this is a winner. This last few. Okay. So you want a high temperature from the looks of it, but you don't want it to be scorching hot. Because when it was scorching hot, it was the outside was cooking quicker than it was able to be able to puff up. Yeah. No, I had I've traded. Uh, I tasted one of them, and there was definitely you get a nice. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oops. You get enough of a flavor of the garlic there, which is nice. And it's not too strong because the pita is the vessel to to all the other flavors. So it's supposed to be, hey, a nice compliment to a chicken salad or, or a gyro or a chicken shawarma. Maybe that's what I should have made. Why did I do that? That would have been nice. But if... If you are at all, like, interested in cooking and you want that, like the video game twist to it below in my information below I have a blog pixelated provisions um, that I've been running for it'll be seven years in October uh, many games uh, a lot of Guild Wars 2 overwatch and just a lot of different options so check it out there's a lot of recipes because like I bet you a lot of games have a lot of food I, I noticed that when, when I did the flour tortillas the one time. Now, I know the main... I, I wonder with, like, tortillas, because 
When I did them, I felt like the, the dough was a bit drier. This definitely has a little bit of moisture to it. So you could be like, oh, okay, yeah, this is clearly gonna, the steam is gonna cause it to puff. And you want that pocket. You wanna be able, when you cut it in half, to go, oh, okay, I could put stuff in here. Um, I think this one, because I disturbed it when I put it down, yeah. Oops, that one's overdone. <laughs> Yeah, I've had many things that are claimed to be garlic, and then it's like, oh, this tastes like nothing. There's no garlic taste in here at all. This is disappointing. But I've also <laughs> also made the same mistake, where I make something garlicky, and the garlic overpowers it. Now, I usually don't say that happens, but I've done it. Now all we're gonna do is if you flip it. Oh, it looks so beautiful. You wouldn't even think it burned. Alright, this is the last one. So I will plop. I do think playing with them a little bit uh, has an effect on the puffiness. So I didn't need this. Crispy breads are very good. I do like when I make like sandwiches, I'll pop the bread into the into the oven so at least there's some crunch there. I, <laughs> I like all bread. The only dangerous thing is because this whole thing is heating, this piece over here is very hot. So I have to make sure I uh, don't touch it. Like, don't grab onto it with my bare hand. There we go. Now we have the puffing's good because okay, so that means that we've had a good amount of moisture in our dough. And um, the heat is at the right temperature because steam is forming in between here and allowing it to puff up like that. Um, and that's why the dough needed to be in that tacky state. So it still kind of had some stick to it, but not too much of a stick. Because if it doesn't do I had two that didn't. One of them I ate because they because the heat was too hot. And the bottom was burning before the steam was able to release and pop the pita. Which is good. There, that means when I cut this in half, I'm going to have a nice little pocket. My heat is definitely getting hotter as I go. I think when I flip it, I'm also flipping it pretty hard. Um, which I guess I should be a bit more gentle with it. Um, because it's probably bursting it and allowing the steam to escape. Which I could see the steam kind of escaping. As I like completely. But that's why you keep. You hide the burnt side. People don't need to see that. <laughs> see? That's the pretty side. So I'm gonna put this in here. I've turned my heat off. I'm gonna. So I don't make a mistake later. I'm gonna move that back there. I'm gonna move the mitt near it so I don't goop that up. I'm gonna go back and switch to the main focus. And turn that camera off. Okay. So today was I, I'd say most success. We had actually yeah, it's only in. Mm, let's take a look. We made lemon, uh, mint lemonade. Because again, with summer starting to roll around, I figured a lemonade would be nice, but let's make it a little extra refreshing. I do have some plans to mix this with some alcohol to kind of 
this is one thing that we made. I have about 40 mint leaves in here. Um, where'd I put that little bowl? Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one I was using earlier. Now, since it's been in the fridge for, I want to say an hour, it'll be a little... Yeah, already with this hour, with it sitting in there for an hour, the mint is starting to really come through. Okay. I think that sitting overnight is going to be extremely nice. It's very nice and refreshing. Kind of gets a nice hit. And then we also made all of these spice mixes. First we had, so I have this lemon pepper one. I think I'm going to add a little more lemon zest to it and grind that up later. But it takes a bit to dry them out. So um, these... This is a seven spice, uh, Tsuchimi Togarashi, which looks very good. Um, I will try it with something. I haven't given it like a full try because it's pretty spicy. I say it's pretty spicy with that, yeah. Yeah, I could add fr fresh lemon slice. So this, the, the lemon juice has, uses actual lemon, uh, the lemonade uses actual lemon juice. Um, this is the orange lime salt, which this one has more salt than the other ones, but it's it's something that I would I'm gonna use to kind of crust the meat with, specifically lamb. I think this works. These flavors would work best with. And then the last one I have is the vanilla salt. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, when I, I set it up, to have a nice fresh mint and then some slices of lemon. Good point, Maroon. Um, so, yeah, this one I think is going to go nice for when I make my... I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies this weekend and top it with that. So, I'm hoping these will sit for a bit and they will be fine. So, we'll see how long they last. But, yeah, I think I'm going to consider... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Four o'clock. So, when I said I would have to wrap up but I think overall pretty successful Whew. managed to get done managed to test a few things that I wanted to test out um, I think I was hoping to maybe get a little more done but it's a good thing I didn't uh, I was half considering making the cookies again but do that tomorrow so with that i'm gonna wrap up so thanks everyone who stopped by who chatted who just watched who enjoyed themselves uh my schedule is a little wonky right now um if people like this friday slot the noon ish to four ish i might start doing that more on a more regular basis and it'll be really just me going into the kitchen and going i have this stuff let me kind of experiment with it and let me see what works. Um, I know that'll happen. And then typically I want to do one on the weekend. But tomorrow I have a hair appointment. So I'm not going to. I don't have the time this weekend to do another cooking stream. Um, so my, my schedule is a bit chaotic. But there's at least one cooking stream a week. Um, I've also been playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, Sometimes Don't Starve. Destiny. What else have we been playing? We did Diablo 2 the other day, but I'm not going to do Diablo 2 again. Uh, so yeah, did a bunch of things. But that's that's it for me. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.